Hamilton County, and the city of Cincinnati are combining to try and raise $200 million for the proposed renovation of the Duke Energy Convention Center downtown. That would include raising both the county and city hotel taxes by 1% each. But Commissioner Alicia Reese says she wants some of that to be used for a new 800-room hotel to replace the now-demolished Millennium Hotel. Tuesday, Reese also reiterated several times she wants a guarantee of that 800 rooms in writing, given that the city and county pledged to build an 800-room hotel for the failed attempt to land a World Cup game in Cincinnati. What I'm trying to do is whatever we verbally say to the citizens, because the taxpayers feel like we keep getting screwed. Her questions to County Administrator Jeff Aluto came less than two weeks after Reese accused developers involved with the project of being disrespectful in a private update meeting. She also accused Aluto of not putting an end to that behavior. The county and city hired nonprofit development firm 3CDC to oversee the project, which could exceed $500 million between the center's renovation and new hotel. 3CDC leaders attended Wednesday's commissioner's staff meeting but declined comment afterward. Aluto said the hotel has always been a priority, but that hotel operators aren't going to build a new one without major improvements to the convention center. And he said all of the hotel tax increase needs to go to the convention center to make sure the debt is fully paid off. But he committed to getting Reese her answers before next week's vote. My only goal is for the taxpayers of Hamilton County for us to get the best deal. We must get the best deal as, po as possible. We can't move forward at all costs or any cost. The questions have to be asked and they will be asked. Now, Reese did not say whether she would vote for the tax increase or not. Uh, both commissioners, Denise Treehouse and Stephanie Summero Dumas, indicated they're probably in favor of it. A lot of moving pieces with this project right now, James. We were just talking, it's estimated the project could take up to 18 months. That's a whole separate issue with all the people that are going to be displaced yeah, in events. So the renovations are scheduled to begin next summer and then not actually complete until 2026. So it would actually be shutting down for next winter for a couple of major shows of previously reported on that and the impact there. Yeah. yeah and another question, James, I mean, is the money for that like going to be included with the hotel? No, the hotel is a separate and they don't have funding for that yet. It's $477 million total. Um, of that, they, they think they're going to need $133 million of public money to, uh, to fi fix up that total, about 33%. Uh, that could come from new taxes in there, tax abatements, as well as state grants. That's what they're hoping for. All right. Thank you, James. All right. Thank you so much, James. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.